Okay. And finding the floor underneath you. See that your feet are hip width apart. Just notice, look and see where they are, not just based on feeling of where they always normally want to go, but look, see, make sure they're hip width apart. Big toe mount pressing down, pinky toe pressing down, heel pressing down, lightness in your arch, and then lengthen your spine up. And just notice how the moment you bring awareness to your posture, your abs turn on without you even having to do anything. The transverse abdomen is just wants to be there to support. And then you find that lift out of your pelvic floor to grow a little bit taller. And then we'll take a nice big inhale up. Exhale everything out. One more time, we take a big inhale up. Exhale to roll over to the toes, gently folding forward. Pulling those abs up and in. And then when you need to, you soften the bend in the knee. And just hang out there in your forward fold for a moment. Let everything go. And then when you're ready, we'll begin to walk out to our plank position. And just find our first plank, side the shoulders away from the ears, drawing the abs up and in, pulling the ribs into the body. Inhale, exhale to your downward dog. Lifting the sits bones high, and you can run the knees out here. The shea butter on my hands is not good on the mat right now. And then pressing the heels back or forward into your plank. Finding that strong plank position as you float your right leg up with the toes, squeeze the glute. And lower that leg down, left leg floated up, squeeze the glute. And lower it down two more times each side, challenging stability, waking up the abs. One more each way, slide the shoulder blades away from the ears, last one, and then we meet back in our downward dog, lift those six on side, and take a breath here. Again, taking any little movement you need to, and pedaling the knees, just waking up the body. And then we'll roll back forward into our plank, holding it here, micro bend the elbows just slightly back and then press them up. So just a little tiny bend of the elbow backwards and lift one more time. Little bend of the elbow, press the arms back up straight, back to your downward dog. Take a breath there. Let's lengthen the right leg up to the sky. Hopefully I don't slip with my shape with our hands and then bend the knee, open the hip, stretching out that right side body. Letting the weight of the leg open up that oblique. And then you'll square the hips, step the hand through. Or, I'm sorry, step the foot through, not the hand through. Then lengthen your right arm up to the sky, take a twist. Opening up here. We're gonna bring it back to center, but we're gonna then bring the hands up so we're in a lunge. And then you're just gonna bend the, the knee and straight. So we're just doing a little lunge here. Three more like that. So the shoulders away from the ears. And last one, we'll bring the hands back down to the mat, step back into your downward dog. Take a breath there. And we'll take the left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Stretching out the left side oblique. And we'll square the hips, step the foot through the hands, lengthening the left hand up to the sky, take a twist here. And then we'll bring it back to center. We bring the hands up here in your lunge, and then just bend and straighten the back knee. Draw the abs up and in, side the shoulders away from the ears for three. Two, and last one. Let's bring the hands back down, step back to your plank, holding here. So the shoulders are clear, draw the abs in. Pull the ribs into the body, get longer through the spine, and you're gonna bend your elbows to the point where you're gonna lower yourself all the way to the mat. We'll let the elbows graze alongside your body as you slowly lower all the way down and melt down to the mat. Fold the forearms together and let the forehead relax on the forearms. Shake the pelvis out here so you can let go of any tension. That's sitting in the sacrum. And then just draw the belly up and in. Feeling the belly pull off of the mat, pressing your hip bones and pubic bone down to the mat, and then release. And pull the abs up and in. And release. Now pull the abs up and in and hold, float the right leg up off the mat, engaging the glute, and lower it down. Left leg lift. And lower. So I want your upper body completely relaxed. My head is turned because I can't talk into the mat. So don't replicate my upper body. I want you completely relaxed, alternating legs. One more single leg. Finding all that length. And then both legs are gonna float up. Press the pelvis into the neck, draw the abs in and both, both legs lift. And lower, thinking about length, not about height. The height will come after the length. Pull the abs in, lift the thighs, 
and lower, lift the thighs and pull, and draw circles with the legs away from each other. They go out, up, and around. Strong, straight leg. And breathe. And reverse that circle. Squeezing the booty. And last one here, lower the legs all the way down. She helps out. Keeping the forehead to the forearms, keeping the toes to the mat, draw the abs in. And we'll float the upper body a couple inches up off of the mat. Feel like your spine can go longer on your pelvis and then lift a tiny bit higher and lowering all the way down. So not lifting from your low back, pull the abs and anchor your pelvis and then lengthen your spine up as you float the elbows up alongside the ears and lowering all the way down. One more time, upper body lift up and lower everything back down and just relax everything out. Lengthen the arms out to the front. Slide the shoulders away from the ears. Drawing the abs up and in. We'll float the arms and legs up and then start to flutter kick. Little kick, swimming it out, long neck. Getting those arms up a little bit higher, legs a little bit longer for five, four, three, two, and lower everything back down and relax. Gently press yourself back to your child's pose and take a breath here. Let the forehead just rest to the mat for the moment. Knees are wide to the chest can go to the floor. Lengthen your fingertips a little bit longer. Breathing into your back one more time. And then on your next breath, let's roll yourself up onto your hands and knees. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your pelvis, rounding your spine into your back stretch, pushing your spine to the sky, pulling the belly up and in, and then head up to lift your back. And rounding into your cap and into your cap. One more time. Into your cap and into your cap. Loosen up your spine, meeting back into neutral. Really draw the abs up and in. Slide the shoulders down, pull the ribs into the body, and then extend the right arm and the left leg at the same time. Lengthen a little bit further through the fingers to the toes, and then bring the hand and the knee right back down to the mat. Other side, you lengthen and bringing it back to center. Moving with your breath, lengthen arm and leg and center. So going on your pace, what feels best for your body, but you get that little hold on the abs as you lengthen. So the shoulders down away from the ears. Let's do one more each way. And breathe. Let's meet with the right arm out, left leg long. Wrap your spine through the knee and the elbow to connect. Pull in a little bit deeper and then extend. Pull the knee and the elbow to connect and extend. Try to minimize any wobbles. One more. And bring it right back to center. And other side, left arm, right leg. Rounding knee and the elbow connect and extend. Draw the abs in. Two more. Can you continue to slide your shoulder away from your ear? Last one. And bring it back to center, rounding into your cat. And into your cow. And back to neutral. Roll the toes under. Draw the abs up and in. Hover the knees and inch up off the mat. And just hang out there. Just stay in that hover. Draw the belly in. Slide the shoulders down. Breathe for five. Four, three, two, last one. Knees come down, come to sit on your bum and grab your band, your ring, whatever you have. Sit up tall to start. So this morning I woke up and it was so stormy looking outside and I was like, yes, it's gonna rain. So I have the shoulder blades away from the ears, lift up out of the pelvis, have the shoulder blades down, draw the belly in and little presses out, sit up longer and taller. And then like a little bit of drops came and then the sun came out, <laughs> right? It was like a fake out and it's so humid. The rain needs to come. We need to wash the layer of dust off. Slide the shoulders down and hold, take the arms above the head, slide the shoulders up from the ears. Can you lift the crown of your head up into the ring or the band or whatever? The arms are lunged at your ears, wrap your ribs in and a little press out. Breathe, sit up tall. Can you touch your fingertips to the ceiling for three, two, last one. Arms back to the front, tuck your pelvis, roll your spine down to the mat. 
Inhale. Take the arms long behind you so you take that stretch. Give some tension into the band of the ring. Taking the arms up. Draw the abs in. And peel yourself up. You can't hear me? And down. Forward. Okay. And then scoop and rolling it all the way down. Inhale, inhale, those arms long and exhale, rolling up to your halfway point. Holding it here, draw the abs in, press the band out. Let's float the right leg a micro inch up off the mat and lower. Draw the abs in, tiny lift to the left and lower. So micro lift to the leg, pulling from your abs, not just from the leg. Let's do one more each way. So the shoulder blades down, lengthening those arms forward, even though we're staying still. And then round your spine up and over to reach towards your toes. Take a stretch forward. Let's hook it onto your right foot. And then tuck your pelvis. And we'll all the way down. Taking the right leg up to the sky and come into our stretch here. Pushing the right hip away and breathing into the back of the leg. And then if you want, you know, you add your bend and straight in. And then hold that leg straight, pushing the sits bone forward and breathe. Shoulders relax. Let's do two more breaths here to me. Into your deepest hamstring stretch that feels available for your body this morning. And releasing that, hooking it to the toes. Pull the toes down, heel up, and stretch into your calf. So make sure you're not into just stretching your hamstring. Pull the toes down. And then point and flex. And then hold the toes down, heel up. And then bringing it back to the center of the foot, spiraling the thigh open and out to the side of your inner thigh stretch. Keep pushing your left hip down, lengthen through that inner thigh on the right side, pushing your heel away from you. And breathe, actively stretching it, not letting it just fall out, but each breath is gonna help pull the right toes a little closer to that right shoulder. Take two more breaths here. And then on the next exhale, let's sweep the leg up to the sky. Anchor your right back pocket down with the leg from a little bit across the body, stretch the side of the hip. Bring it into the side of the leg, push your right hip a little further away, shoulders relax. Try to soften the ribs and on your next exhale, let's melt into your spinal twist with the leg full across the body, going in the opposite direction. One more breath there. Extending the right leg long on the mat, feeling all that length. And then peel yourself up. And we're over to catch onto your left foot here. Let's make that leg as long as the right now. Hold it all the way back down. And breathe into the back of the leg. A little bending and straightening of the leg. Finding a little more length there. Pushing that left sits bone forward. Let's take one more breath there. And we'll release that, hooking it to the toes for your calf stretch. Toes pull down, heel pushes up.
He must be at a point of flex. And hold the toes down, push the heel up. And bring it back to the center of the foot, spiraling the thigh, open and up to the side, bring our thigh stretch. And breathe. Lengthening through the left inner thigh, pushing that heel away from you. Another breath here. And we'll sit that leg up and across, stretching through the side of the foot. And breathe. Pushing the left hip away. Do the inhale, letting shoulders relax, softening the ribs. Two more breaths. And on your next exhale, we'll melt into the spinal twist. When the leg just fall across the body, bend to the side. And bring everything all the way back to center. Shake that leg out. The legs are long and loose. Firm the back of the thighs down. Lengthen the arms back. Just take one long stretch here. And then you'll bring your hands down by your sides. Bend your knees, feet to the mat. Arch and input your spine a couple times to just settle your pelvis in into its neutral position, allowing the hip bones to be along the knee. Your pubic bone, soften the ribs down into the body, let the belly button drop towards the spine so to activate up out of your pelvic floor, lengthening your arms to the sky, they're right above your shoulders. Inhale, on your exhale, slight tuck of the chin as you fold forward from the rib cage to reach the fingertips to touch the heels, and then come up one extra little inch and lower all the way back down. Inhale, exhale, curling up, waking up the upper body so there's no tension in the neck. You see how your upper body can support you as you fold forward from the ribcage, holding the line gently between your chin and your chest. Exhale. And hold this one all the way up. You see that your pelvis is in neutral, so you could balance a cup of tea on your low abs. Squeeze your pelvic floor and see how your belly button can drop down a little bit deeper. And then little reaches forward to reach. Reach. From those upper abs, just little reaches. For five, four, three, two. We're gonna hold it up. We're gonna just bring the right leg up to tabletop and lower it back down. Left leg up to tabletop and lower it back down. We're gonna do that three more times each way. You have a great view of your pelvis. You see that nothing is moving. It's very simple movement, slow and control. And see how your abs can help to control and lift that leg up. And we'll bring it all the way back to center, feet down, head down. Take a long stretch of the arms back. Take a breath there. Opening up the chest. One more breath. And we'll take the hands back up to the sky. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders, pressing your hands towards your hips again. Again, bring the right leg to the table. Left leg up to meet it. Tap the right toes to the front edge of the mat and lift and lift and lift. So you know your head can be down. It does not have to be up. If it feels better on the mat, relax your arms by your sides. But if you feel like it wants to be up today, hang out there. Soft the jaw, but the moment you're feeling tension in your neck, put your head down because you won't really be able to focus on the abs. You'll just be hating your neck. One more each way. Hold the belly a little bit deeper. Bring everything back to center. Hug it all the way in. Relax at your head box. I'm sorry. Return to center. Legs to the table. Hands to the sky. Keeping the head down to start, press the back of the skull gently into the mat as you reach your right arm backwards, left leg forward, keeping neutral and bringing it back to center. Other side, you lengthen and center. Fold the belly in, squeezing pelvic floor. Breathe. Let's do two more like that, and then we'll do another set with the head lifted if you want. Or if it feels like you're really secure and strong here, hang out there. Otherwise, with everything back at center, just lift the head, neck, and shoulders. And now, same thing, opposite, opposite leg. So when you're lifting from your upper abs, can you bring your rib cage maybe a little closer up to the sky? Two more. Pull the abs in. 
Last one each way. When you're even, return to center and relax all the way back down. Take the knees, stir them in the hip sockets, let go of any tension that maybe is creeping into the hips. If you're ever feeling that, always come back to this to reverse your circle. And bring everything back to center. You're going to take your left hand, put it on your left thigh, and keep it there. Start to create some tension. So push your hand into your leg so hard that your leg wants to push away, but the leg is pushing back into the hand. Now reach your right hand above the shoulder. Left, right leg stays in table for the moment. Now let's take the right side away from the body, push the left side together, and bring it back to center. Lengthen and center. So you're creating the tension on the left side while the right side is moving away and then going back to start. Two more. Pulling the belly in, you're still in neutral. Last one. Bring it to center and put the right hand on the right thigh. Start to create the tension on the right side. Start to push, 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 then lengthen the left arm up to the sky. Reach the left arm and left leg away from the body and bring it to center. Away and center. Are you staying in neutral? Of course you are. Three more. Pull the belly in. Use your breath to get long. Last one. Back to center and then bring your left hand onto your left thigh. Now just push both hands into the thighs. Push from the thighs into the hands, hand into the thighs. So I hope you're feeling it. I'm definitely feeling my abs push, pulling in. Draw the belly in for five, deeper. Push, three, two, and last one, hug the knees in. Did you feel your abs in that, friends? Yeah. Thumbs up, okay, cool. Let's bring the feet down to the mat, arms to the sides, wide collarbone, quick little set of bridging, tuck the pelvis, roll your hips up into your bridge, neck is long, push the hips to the sky, feel as if your knees can touch the front of the room, sequentially rolling your spine all the way down to the mat. Inhale, exhale, rolling all the way up. And all the way down. Let's do three more like that. Need some movement into the spine, push those hips up, lengthen forward, and all the way down. One more time. Going all the way down and into neutral pelvis legs. Come up to tabletop, hands come up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, press your hands towards your hips, extend your legs away to high diagonal, hundreds prep, and bring it back in. Two more like that. Exhaling on the lift and down. One more like that. Exhaling on the lift. And then this next one, you get to hang out in the hundreds. In, exhale, lift, lengthen, hold, parallel legs or turned out, pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Legs could be in tabletop, they could be extended low to the ground, they could be high to the sky. Where do you feel like you're getting the most challenge? Are you staying in neutral? Inhale. Inhale and exhale. Lift out your pelvic floor. Three more sets. Inhale. Two. Let's set. Inhale and exhale. Drag legs up to the sky. Hip the knees all the way in and relax. Head up side to side. And bring it all the way back to center. Legs to table. Arms firm down into the mat, widen the collarbone, shoot the legs up to the sky, point the toes, and then externally rotating, squeezing the right ankle over the left, left over the right, right over the left, open the legs as wide as the mat, maybe a little wider, and then close with the left leg on top, right, left, open, we go faster, we go, switch, 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 open. So you open to your point of control where you're not losing the connection, and then you can use those inner thighs to see the back up. Make sure the opposite leg starts on top when you bring it back in. Focus on inner thighs crossing, not just the ankle. Check in with your upper body. Are you keeping your shoulders relaxed? You're drawing those abs in. So we're gonna do two more each way. Three. Last set each way. And then bring it all the way back to center. Fold the hands an inch up off the mat. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. We're gonna keep that external rotation. 
We're gonna cross down for eight and up for eight. So we're gonna go down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and lift. And down. And lift. One more set. Take it down. And lift. And holding it up, hands down by the sides, head down. And then just a few times, we're going to float the hips an inch up off the mat and lower. And we lift and lower. Three more. Small lift. Try to relax the shoulders as much as possible, too. And last one. And then bring everything in, relax. Breathe. Let's bring the legs to the table, arms relaxed by the sides, collarbone is wide, squeeze the thighs together, pelvis is in neutral, flex to the feet as you dip your heels halfway forward and drag the legs back up. Shoulders relax. Lower and lift, softening the ribs. Dip and drag it up. Shoulders are relaxed. Three, dragging up from the low belly. Two. Last one. And bring those legs back up. Give the knees a little hug. And we'll bring the feet back down to the mat, arms by the sides, press the feet down as we roll up into our bridge and hang out there. Find lots of weight for that upper body. Wrap the ribs in, lift the hips a little bit higher, pull your pubic bone slightly towards your face, just to ensure that your pelvis is in neutral and your low back isn't doing all the work to support you. Drop your hips to almost touch the mat, press up and squeeze the booty. You're holding that imaginary ball between your thighs, press up, squeeze. Squeeze. Press. Collarbone is wide. Draw the belly in. And then we just lift and hold. Push the hips a little bit higher. Reach the fingertips a little further forward. And then lift the heels. Tap your bum down, press up, lift, squeeze. Tap down, press up, squeeze. Lower, press up, lift. Wrap the ribs in. Get the heels a little bit higher. And then lift and hold. And small presses up. If you want, take your hands up to the sky. If you feel like you need a different challenge. And then lower those heels down. Walk the feet to the outside edges of the mat. Dig your toes down. Lift, I'm sorry, dig your heels down. Lift your toes up. Push your hips a little bit higher to start so you know where you're going to come to. Lower, come right back up to that point. Lower, press up, lift. Down, press up, squeeze. Lower, lift, squeeze. Press the hips up and hold the up. Tap the knees to touch. Squeeze the thighs together. And then slowly open the knees like you're pulling them through molasses. They squeeze in and resist as they open. There's a giant rubber band on your thighs that you have to pull apart. One more like that. Hold the thighs open and small press up lift. Up hold, up hold. If you're feeling anything in your low back, check in with your pelvis. Pull that pubic bone slightly to your face. For five. Last one. Drop the feet, walk them back to hip width apart. Bring your hands down by your sides. Long collarbone, our wide open collarbone. Lift the hips high, and then we'll bring the left leg into tabletop. Extend that left leg up to the sky. And then small lower of the hips and lift. Tiny lower, tiny lift. Feeling that right booty and hamstring going crazy. For five, four. I don't know about you guys, but my bum is definitely feeling it. Last one, lift and hold. Pump a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little higher. And then place that foot back on the mat. Other leg to table. Lengthen that leg up to the sky. And then small lower, small lift, slow burn, press, squeeze. Lower and lift for five. Press, keep the collarbone wide, no tension in the upper body. Three, lift and hold, hold, hold with those hips. Place that foot on the mat and hold. 
Walk the feet together. Let the knees open as well, a little wider than the pelvis. Maybe the bottom of the feet can push together. Now lower the hips, press up, squeeze. Slower, press, squeeze. Pull the belly in so the abs are still working. This doesn't mean that the abs are on break right now. As you lift up, you're gonna hold the up, pull the knees towards each other, open the knees apart, lower the hips. Press up, squeeze in, lower, press up, squeeze the thighs. Three more like that. Two, last one. Hold the knees open, pulse the hips high, pulse up for 10, nine, three, we're almost there. Keep pulling, if you go towards your face, you're not jumping into your low back for three, Two, last one, bring the knees back together, place on the feet on the mat, and then lower yourself down into the mat to relax. Take a breath there, and then we'll cross the right ankle over the left knee, pull back, come behind the left thigh, pushing the right elbow into the right thigh, and breathe. Let your tailbone drop a little heavier as you pull the left leg in a little bit more. One more breath. And then we'll switch sides. And breathe. Let's take two more breaths here. Feet drop in the tailbone, put a leg a little bit further. And then release that, feet to the mat. Hands to the sky, walk the feet a little bit to the front, lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and peel yourself up onto your sits bones. Let's come back onto the forearms, lift up out of your pelvis, wide through the collarbone, and then right leg to table, left leg up to meet it, squeeze the thighs together, draw the belly in, and let the knees sweep over to the right, up, and to the left. And now reverse that, going back. So never completing the circle, always going back the opposite way. Down, around, up, and hold. Stay long in your neck. Maybe now you extend your legs. Maybe they stay in tabletop. Where do you feel like you have the most control and the proper work is happening? So it's never about taking it to the full expression of the exercise because maybe the advanced version isn't gonna be the most effective. Sometimes it's the simplest ones that get deepest into your transverse abdominis. We've got one more each way, but then sometimes everybody wants a little different challenge. So you decide. Last one, we'll bring the legs back up to tabletop if they're not already there. We're gonna just roll up and catch our ankles. Inhale, and we'll all the way up, catch your ankles. Send the legs to the sky. Just hang out there for a moment and catch your breath there. So we're going to release the hands, tap the toes to the mat, lift, tap the toes to the mat, and lift. Two more like that. Last one. Legs to table, and gently roll yourself down to the mat. Take a little breath there. You can hug the knees in. I want to reset into neutral so we can come into the abdominal series. Hands to the sky, legs and table, abs are in, activated, lift up on your pelvic floor as you float the head, neck, and shoulders up, extend the left leg long. Right knee is in table, guiding it in, and then switch sides. We go switch and switch. Breathe. So if you want more challenge, the fingertips can reach forward. The legs can go closer towards the mat, or they could go closer to the sky. What is feeling best for your body? Maybe you play with it. Maybe they go down, and then they go up. Have fun with it. As long as those abs are working, Last one, each way, bring it back to center, hug the knees in and relax. Head rock side to side. Take a breath there, reset to neutral. If you're ready to bring the feet down just to make sure your pelvis is in neutral, do that. Legs and table, double leg stretch, hands to the sky as you float the head back and shoulders up, reach just past the knees. Inhale to extend the arms and legs long, exhale to circle to bring it to center. Inhale. Exhale. For four, lift out of your pelvic floor. Are you keeping the shoulder blades lifted? 
Last one, return everything to center, hug it in, just circles in the smooth with your nose. And reverse. Legs to table, hands to the sky, lift the head, neck, and shoulders as you reach your legs up to the sky, lowering the left leg out for single straight leg stretch, double pull the leg, scissor, pull, pull. Inhale, exhale. So you know you can grab up towards your ankle, you could reach your fingertips forward, you can have your arms back alongside the ears, your choice. Where do you want to be today? What's going to get deepest into your core, keeping your body very, you're still and stable, abs activated. One more each way, then we'll meet with the right leg to the top. Hold, draw the abs in, left leg stays extended or it can rest to the mat as you come all the way up on to those thumbs and cis bones, keeping that balance there, and then lower all the way back down. You can walk your hands down the leg, and then walk all the way back up. Between the sweat and the shea butter, it's more of like a slide down the leg for me. And then roll all the way up and we hold, catching the left hand to the outside of the right ankle. The right hand sweeps back. You look to your fingertips and bring it up to center. The rib cage spirals around. Last one, everything else is still. We just switch legs and then roll all the way down. Then lengthen all the way back up, using those strong abdominal muscles all the way down. Try to keep the shoulders away from the ears. And all the way down. And we roll all the way up and we hold. Right hand down to the left ankle and we just twist and center. And center one more time. Twist and bring it back to center. Both legs are up. And then hands off as you roll yourself all the way down to the mat and give yourself a little hug here. Take a breath, rock side to side, let go of any tension. Feet down to the mat just to reset our neutral. Make sure you're there as you then bring your legs to the table, soften the ribs into the body, fingertip touch behind the ears, floating head, neck, and shoulders up, extend the legs up to the sky, elbows wide. Legs in parallel or turnout or tabletop. Where do you feel strongest? Lengthen your legs out to your point of control. Squeeze the feet together and then drag the legs up. Lengthen from the low belly. Float the legs up. Inhale. Squeeze all the foot and left. Four more like that. Extend and three. Two. Last one, really make it good. Really drag whatever you've got, lift it up, lift, 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 and then hug it all the way down, relax. Taking a breath there. We got one more in the abdominal series coming into crisscross. Legs to table. Fingertips touch behind the ears as we float the head, neck, and shoulders up, extending the left leg long. Twist to bring the left shoulder in the direction that knee lift a little bit higher, and then rotate to center. We twist, twist a little bit further, and center, twist up and over and center, up and over, reach. Exhale, bringing up that wet washcloth. Press, bottom rib to opposite hip, three more. Twist, press, two, and last one, each way. Bringing it all the way back to center, hug the knees in, relax, we take a long stretch here. Imagine someone's pulling you apart from either side. One more breath. And then we'll lengthen the arms to the sky. Reach the fingertips to the sky wide collarbone as you peel yourself up and over. Up, up, up. Reaching up and over to your toes. We'll take a little stretch forward. And then you'll locate your weights. So let's grab those weights. We're going to do a few roll-ups. And then we'll start the arms. So lengthen, slough, slide the shoulder blades down, lift up out your pelvis, and then draw the abs in to really press each vertebra down to the mat. You tuck your pelvis to press your low back in all the way down. Hands are right over the shoulders, and then you peel yourself up. Like you're going to push those weights up to the sky. You reach forward. They stay in front of the shoulders, and then you reach into that front wall, reaching forward, and scoop and roll it down. Can the hands stay perfectly aligned with the shoulders? Exhale. 
Reach, 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 reach. And scoop and roll it down. The next one, we're going to stay up. Inhale, exhale, rolling all the way up. And then we're going to roll back halfway. Coming to your halfway point, arms are long to the front. And then our simple little bicep curl. Breathe. Set the shoulder blades away from the ears. Can the neck be a little bit longer? Three. Last one, hold the arms out. Turn the palms towards each other. Bend the right elbow. Bend the left elbow. Right and left. One more like that each way. Both arms out. Sit up tall. Take the arms above the head. Push the weights together. Bend the elbows backwards and straighten. Bend and press up. Biceps alongside the ears. Sit up tall. Like you can sit up so tall, you might just float right up off of the mat. Long neck, so try not to drop your chin as you do it. Three, breathe. Last one, take the arms behind you, shift your weight forward. So your spine is long, you just shift your weight forward, wipe the collarbone, palms face each other, and then just press in. In. Little presses in. Maybe they can come up a little bit higher. And maybe now, once they're in higher, you hold it, and now we press up, up, up for five. Last one, send the arms back forward, roll back halfway, hinge open, and hug around a big balloon. Hinge and close. Three more. Two. And last one, close the arms in and come up to sit tall, place the waist to the sides, and then let's lay on your left side. Come to lay all the way down, head can be on the arm or propped up. We'll bring the legs to the front edge of the mat, pushing the top hip away. Lift the top leg, flex the foot. Imagine someone pulled your heel and pulled your leg out a little bit further out of your hip as you bring the leg forward, point and sweep. Left spring forward, wrap the ribs in, point and sweep. <sighs> wrap the ribs into the body, squeeze. Trying to minimize any movement in the pelvis. Last one, let's keep the leg back, point the toe, pull it back a little bit further. You feel your bum lifting off your hamstring and then little presses, press, press. If you need to bring your hand to your bum, so bring the awareness there for five, and last one, bring it back to center. We're gonna extend the leg up to the sky, bend the knee and push the toes down the leg. Kick it to the sky, bend the knee, push down. So you're pushing a weight down your leg. You add that resistance. One more in that direction. Now slide the toes up the leg and kick. Flex to pull down. Toes pull up, extend, flex to pull down. Three more like that. Working on mobility, two, flex. Last one, let's just keep that leg up to the sky. Open the thigh, turn the hip open and tiny circles. Drawing the belly in, can that leg get a little bit longer? Tight little circles as we reverse it now, circle back. For five, four, three, two, last one, flex the foot. Let the leg come forward right in front of the hip and then it pushes up to the sky. It comes forward and then side booty right back up. Three, two, last one. But now we're gonna take it up. We take it back down to hold. So we completed that one. Now we hang up here, hold. Little bend press, bend press, tiny press. Push for five, four, three. Two, hold it, so that like all the way back now by the knees for your clamshells. Heels are in line with the tailbone, push the top hip away. Open the top knee, close. Open, squeeze and close. As you open that leg, squeeze the heels together. Getting a hold and then down. Are the ribs wrapped in? Is your, are your abs pulling in? Is your bottom waistline lifting up off of the mat? Is the pelvis staying so still? Hold this knee up. We add our rotation, we go knee to knee, toe to ankle. Knee, toe to ankle. So again, with that hip mobility, tap and tap 
and tap and tap for three. And last one, knee comes all the way down. Knees come to 90 degrees here. Flex the feet, stacked knees, stacked hips. Fold the top leg up and lower. And we lift and lower. Great, push that tailbone back. We're gonna lift, hold, kick the leg out, pull it in and lower, we lift. Kick straight in and down, we press up. When it comes in and goes down, it's not actually touching. Maybe it's barely touching, but it's definitely not a relax. It almost touches and then it comes back up and press up. Keep this leg out now, hold, point the toe, tiny circles here. Stir around and around and around and reverse. Flex the foot, pull the knee back in and tiny circles here, stirring around. And reverse it, pull the hands in and lower that all the way down, punch the feet down. We're gonna pull your, I almost said float yourself up. Can you float yourself up and push your bottom forearm down? And then bring the top hand to the hip. Feet can be one in front of the other. Feet are stacked. Bottom knee can be bent. We're coming into a side plank. Wide through the collarbone. And then we'll just lift the hips up high and lengthen the top arm up. Dive the top arm underneath the torso and back up to the sky. Twist and lift. Twist and lift. Really bringing out the torso. Two. And last one. Lift and hold. Push this a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little higher. Lower all the way down. Rotate to the other side. We'll just knock that out on the other side. Head is all the way down. And then the legs come slightly forward. Push the top hip away. Lift the top leg up. Draw the belly in. Maybe your hands to kick stand. You sweep the leg forward. Point and kick it back. Flex to bring forward. Point to the hip. You don't need the kick stand yet. Bring the hand to the hip. There's a sound outside right now that to me is very reminiscent of a lawnmower, although that's something that would never happen here. There's no lawn, it's all deserted dust. But it, for a second, I was like, I'm back in New York. It completely threw me off. It's crazy how sounds can do that. I was like, oh, someone's mowing the lawn. And I'm like, mm, not where I'm at. Hold this leg back, point the toes, squeeze the bum up off the hamstring, and little pulses back. Press. Pull the abs in. Can you pull it in a little bit deeper? And then bring it back to center, spiral the thigh to the sky, kick the leg up, point the toe, and push the toes on the leg. We lift, bend, push. Lift, bend, press. Last one here, then we reverse. You push it down, now bring the toes back up, extend the leg to the sky, flex to pull it down. Pull the toes of the leg, extend. Flex and pull. Extend. Two. And last one. Hold it up. I think I need to discount that, but hold it up. And then sweep that leg forward and sweep it back up to the sky. Draw the abs in. Keep pushing your bum slightly backwards so you can maintain neutral while you do this. Three. I miss the circle, so we'll do that in one second. Let's take the leg up, hold it, point the toes, and draw little tiny circles here. And then we'll go back to that leg extended. So I don't want to miss those. And then reverse. I meant to do it out of order. Abs. Three, two, and last one. Flex the foot, bring that leg right back down. That was a little break there for you. And the little tiny bend straighten. Bend straighten. Press. Push your bum back. Press for five. Three, two, last one. To the leg back to the bottom leg. Then the knee setting up clamshells. Go down with your tailbone. Push your top hip away. Open the top knee and close. You're pushing your heels together. You're drawing your abs in. You're maintaining your lumbar curve. Top hip is always pushing far away from you. So you're not letting the bottom rib and top hip creep together. You want to create that length. Two more. Squeeze. And then we'll add our rotation ring on knee to knee, toe to ankle, knee to knee, and toe to ankle. Tap 
and squeeze for five. Keep the top shoulder relaxed. And last one, we're gonna bring the knees down, bring the knees to 90 degrees, stack the knees, stack the hips, flex the feet, sweep the top leg up, and then it almost touches down, it sweeps up and almost touches down. Again, where's your lumbar curve? You're keeping that maintained. You're pushing your top hip away. And now it goes up, it pushes out, it pulls in, and almost touch down, we lift, extend. When you extend, really find that length, find the engagement, extend, pull in, we lower, lift, extend. Two more. This is the last one, so it stays out, we point the toes in tiny stirs. And reverse it like you're screwing in a screw for five. And last one, bringing it all the way in, circle here, flex that foot, circle, tiny circles. Pull your belly in a little bit deeper, still out of that pelvic floor, and then reverse. And then lower that leg all the way down, punch it out. We did everything on that side, now to the side plank, right? We did, I didn't skip anything? Okay, so let's float on up to your side plank. Pull that bottom forearm underneath you. From the side plank, we're gonna go into our plank. So just mentally prepare. That's where we're gonna go with it. Pick the leg position you took on the first side. Long body, hand to the hip. Push the hips up and then lengthen that arm up to the sky. Lift the hips a little higher and then we just dive the arm under and lift. Dive under and lift. Twist. Two. Last one, lift and hold, hold, hold. And we're gonna lower the hips down, come onto hands and knees, quick take back a child's pose. Take a breath here, because now we're gonna go into our plank. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna roll yourself up and pick forearms or hands. Neil, are you ready? I am. Okay, so let's set up your plank position and we're on. All right, like any newish couple, we were learning to fight. It wasn't often. And when we did, it was over petty things, usually when we were stressed or fatigued. I yell when I'm angry. And when something sets me off, it's physical, like a fireball running up my spine. And with such force, I often don't remember what I was saying. Barack, on the other hand, stays cool and rational. His words come in a rising, eloquent cascade. It's really irritating. It took us years to figure out that this is how we're built, you know, the sum of our genetic codes informed by everything installed by our parents and their parents before them. Over time, we figured out how to express our rage and overcome our irritations. When we fight now, it's less dramatic, more efficient, and always with our love for each other in sight. Three, two, one. Onward, dog. And you can run the knees out here. Take any last little movement you need. And then slow walk of your toes to your hands. And then hanging out in that forward fold, seeing that the feet are hip width apart. Just like we set up from the beginning, you can let everything go. Shake everything out. And then with the abs engaged, you're gonna slowly start to roll your spine up. Strong from your feet all the way up as you really get strong and long with the spine all the way to the head lifts. And we'll take a nice big inhale up. Exhaling it out. One more time, big inhale up. Exhale it out. And thank you so much for coming Pilates Hotties. Awesome work today.